Hi, my name is Sidoni Banks, but I go by Sid. And I believe I should be the winner of Chief Spirit Officer because I am an ultimate Halloween fanatic and I have been since I was very young. When I was very, very young, I always loved to dress up and decorate with my dad and my family. Halloween is actually one of the holidays that me and my dad actually bond together with and get along. I've loved Halloween. I didn't really like to get scared, but I liked the creepy factor and, you know, getting to be someone completely different and all that really was one of my favorite things. I celebrate Halloween all year round. It is not a one night holiday for me. I like the spooky and weird stuff and anything to do with Halloween. So I do it all year round. Halloween in some ways I would say has actually saved my life. Um, I was very depressed in a low place in my life and I came across a Halloween store and I found a haunt through that. And this haunted attraction literally helped me from making a really bad decision to still being here today. And because this haunted attraction did this for me, my goal now is to have a year-round haunted attraction and be able to do the same for others who feel the same way. And give them a brave and safe space to be able to be themselves and that there's no bullying, no belittling, no anything like that in my haunt. Uh, we all get along, we all encourage and help each other grow, and we all are inclusive and try to learn to understand one another. And that's one thing that I want to do with Halloween is bring back the community part. Halloween has always been a community holiday. It's the only community holiday where people actually go out into the community and you know, trick or treat or go to community events. So I would like to bring that back to Halloween. It's kind of gone more commercialized and just has been different. And because of COVID and everything, it feels like now more than ever, we need that community part of Halloween back. And when I get my year round haunted attraction, I plan on doing events year round because I don't believe that just October 31st and October should be the only season that we celebrate all things odd, spooky, creepy, horror. I think that you can take anything and add a little bit of horror to it or Halloween and make it so us weirdos, freaks, oddities can fit in. That's one thing I'd like to do. I love Spirit Halloween. I've been going there ever since I was a kid. And anytime I see the signs go up, I get excited and sometimes scream really loud when my when being dragged around and stuff and scare people. Not purposely, but just because of the excitement, knowing that Halloween is here. I love Spirit Halloween. I shop there as much as I can. I can easily blow a couple of hundreds and thousands of dollars. The only thing that's keeping me from my goal of having a year-round haunted house or be able like being able to do what I wish I could and want is not the creativity, not the drive, not the hard work, it's the money. Money has always been an issue. My family sometimes barely scrapes by, but that doesn't keep me from trying to reach and obtain my goal. Um, I've done everything I can to keep afloat and do this stuff year-round. Having this title would help in so many ways. I'd be able to hopefully afford more things and be able to promote Spirit Halloween, which is one of the companies that I love very much. I'm also hoping with this position, maybe being able to market and work more with the haunt community. There's a lot of haunted attractions, and I'm talking small like yard haunts and displays, and Spirit Halloween is, you know, what they can afford and what they can do, and they go there and they spend what they can and try to always, you know, up the game from last year and bring a new display and a new life to their community and to their fans, the people who go every year. And I'm actually very close with the Arizona community of haunters and Halloween lovers. And that's one thing that they wish is there was more communityness, even with spirit, that they would reach out more to their local haunted attractions and yard displays and kind of work together with them. I think that would be really cool.
I do a lot of social media, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, all of that. I do that for my own business. Like I said, my overall goal is to have a year-round haunted attraction. We, I actually do have a haunted attraction that started about three years ago. And so this is our third year. And it's a little haunt. We're little, but we're mighty. And we put our heart and soul into everything we do. If I had the funding, I would have a whole lot of spirit stuff. But unfortunately, like I said before, money is the thing that's keeping me. So I get what I can when I can. And I love all of their products. I love the fact that each year they bring something new and they always continue to learn and grow and improve from the previous years, especially with their costuming and displays and lights and all that. I think that is so cool that they're actually bringing their A-game up to like what uh, you would find in a, like a major haunted house vendor. I have been to Transworld twice and that was very difficult having to save money and what not so I could go. So like I said, I am a really big haunted house fan. I've been in the haunt industry for over 13 years. I own an entertainment business that does weird things year round and I've had that for over 13 years. But I have been in the haunt circuit for a very long time but I've been a Halloween lover since the day I was born. So this opportunity would mean a lot to me. I really hope that you pick me, it would mean so much and I would try my best to do what I can and also to make spirit more inclusive and more leadership driven as well as community driven and be able to work with some Halloween lovers and haun haunters of different types and different things and hopefully kind of being that gap. So listening to what they have to say or ideas that they have and maybe even bringing it to the head of uh, Spirit Halloween and maybe being able to kind of bridge that gap and making it more kind of community driven. I love Spirit of Children. I donate every year what I can. It's a great organization. So again, being a part of the Spirit Company and also being a part of Spirit of Children I think would be so cool. I had a brother, I had an older brother who um, unfortunately passed away. Um, before me and he was premature so my family has suffered at you know the hospitals uh, having to go to the hospitals because of him being you know being premature and whatnot but also them having to stay and travel for my brother who sadly didn't make it so Whenever I hear stories of spirited children or even just think about it, it kind of chokes me up because even though I wasn't there for that, I know that it affected my mom and dad very big. So I think that spirited children is a very great organization. And if I won, like I said, there's so much I would do and the cash prize would for sure help. Um, having spirit kind of being a part of that team would be really cool and being able to make a difference. I'm not your average bear, I'm a little odd and a little out there, but I love what I do and I do what I love. And if you're looking for somebody who's Halloween, if you're looking for somebody who loves Halloween and who is, you know, does Halloween 365 days a year, that is me. I live and breathe it. I have given up so much for my dream and goal and overall my main dream and goal is to help others like me and to be able to make a positive social change and impact on my community with my haunt. Um, where I live we have some big named haunted attractions and stuff but they don't really do that much I would say for the community overall or anything like that. There's a couple of them that do things here and there but like we have a couple of major ones and they don't. And so I'm hoping to kind of be an example as well as touch the lives of many who might need that little bit of encouragement or a belonging or somewhere to go like I did and be able to hopefully save lives instead of see people depressed or sad and possibly even, you know, not be with us longer, you know, not be with us you know, that'd be very sad. So I hope that you at least give me a chance. I would love to, to do it. 
like I said, Spirit is probably one of my most favorite places to be, and it's sad that it's only open, you know, September, October, ish, August. Um, this would mean the world to me, so please give me a shot and a chance, and you'd be surprised what I could do and what I can do. I am persistent. I don't give up. I do whatever I can to get my goal and to be able to do whatever I can to make my dream a reality. And I love helping people, teaching people, doing things like that. Um, I have a lot of experience. I do makeup and effects. I do video, I do photography, I do social media, I do website design. I mean, you name it, I can do it, I've done it. I'm a jack of many traits and over the years have had to learn how to do different positions and different things because when you're starting your own business or starting a haunt, you kind of have to be the person to be able to do all of it, especially when you don't have a lot of funding, you can't pay somebody to do it, so you learn. So I do know a lot and I hope that you'll give me a chance. Thank you so much for your time and I look forward to hearing from y'all. Spirit Halloween. Thank you.